Hello guys, and welcome to Wine Wednesday. And this week we are doing a lovely Yellowtail Merlot. Yellowtail, again, like I said in the previous Yellowtail video, the Moscato I believe it was, this was my first wine brand I tried and I love them. They're Australian, so obviously I love them to death because I love Australia, I love the culture, the people, everything about it. So I love their wine. Uh, yeah, so this is Merlot and um, it is very, it is very dry wine, in case you didn't know, but I'm sure you got that by now. Um, it's a medium bodied wine, so be very cautious on that. I already have tried this wine before. Um, I opened the bottle about a week ago and I was like, oh, I gotta make a video on this before I finish it. So I saved about half the bottle and now we're gonna review it. Uh, yeah, so again, it is a medium bodied wine. If you're not into dry wines, this isn't the wine for you then because Merlot is very dry. It's a, it's a, like a medium dry wine. All right, medium dry if that makes sense to you guys. But anyway, um, as always, make sure you have a wine aerator aerate your wine, um, swirl your red wines because you want to make sure you get everything out of it and make sure you get all the flavors going and whatnot. Now I know what's in the wine for flavor wise, but I'll tell you guys exactly what's in it. So definitely there's plum in here. There's some not blackberry. What is it? Um, 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 mulberry. I couldn't think of the name. Sorry. I'm not used to mulberry being in a wine, but it's definitely in a Merlot. And there is a little bit of vanilla and spice in here. The vanilla is subtle, but it's there, and the spice is more prominent, and so are the, the plum. Let's give this wine a good try, and I'll give you my lovely, tasty review. Mmm. Yeah. So that spice, that mulberry. Yum. I love it. It's fantastic. Now, it is a budget-friendly wine. As I've mentioned before, all yellowtail wines are budget-friendly. They usually run about $6.99-ish, depending on where you go for your wine. I mean, I think I paid like $6.50 ish for this or whatever, something like that. Anyway, I got it on sale at Target, so I was like, hey, what the heck. It's very delicious. I would strongly suggest this wine if you're going budget friendly. Um, most Yellowtails are budget friendly, as I said before. And you can tell by the taste of them, they are budget friendly. Because if you, like myself, have tried higher class Merlots or red wines, you'll notice a big difference. Be like, oh, this tastes a little bit more, mm, okay. And this one tastes, wow, okay. Like, you know, does that make sense to you guys? Well, anyway, so yeah, I mean, I love this wine, don't get me wrong, it's really good. Yellowtail is a perfect wine for those starting out. If you're starting out in the wine industry, trying wines, go for Yellowtail. Start with that and then work your way up. Behringer, I would say would be the next step up. Behringer's really good. I love a good Behringer wine, which we haven't tried yet. And we, we will eventually try Behringer wine, trust me on that. We will go, we will be going there because they're really good too. Um, I guess I could rate this about a seven. I've had other Merlots before and they've been a little bit better. And they've been a little more higher class, so I kind of have to rate them a little higher than this. But again, if you're going on a budget and want to just bring a budget-friendly wine to a party or a house gathering or dinner, this is a good it's a good go-to wine. A good solid yellowtail Merlot. And I love yellowtail by all means. They are my favorite brand. They're Australian, so why what's that to love, right? And 19 Crimes, guys, they're also Australian, so I love them too. So Yellowtail 19 Crimes. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. You're amazing. Um, so yeah, what would you pair this with? Well, um, Antipasto is really good to pair with Merlot. And a lot of red meats, obviously, because re red wine, red meats, white wines, white meats, you know, the whole thing. And roasted vegetables, guys. Roasted vegetables go super well with any Merlot. That's a perfect pairing all in one. So get your red meat, get your roasted vegetables, and boom, you got a great wine. Um, and yeah, there you go. That's my lovely review. It's a solid good 7 out of 10 for a wine. And for a Merlot, it's really good. I would definitely have this over and over again. Um, probably not sitting outside in like the freezing cold, you know, weather, but hey, still it's a good wine. Yeah. Solid good wine. Australian wine, just how I like it. And yes, I'm wearing a new Christmas sweater, as you noticed. I didn't mention that in the, in the beginning, which I should have. It has got kitty cats with Santa hats and some Christmas lights and a Christmas box. It's not an official Christmas sweater because it is got a hood on it, but I classify it as a Christmas sweater. I was planning on wearing a different Christmas sweater in this video. However, I seem to have misplaced it. I searched everywhere high and low and I couldn't find it. It was my favorite Christmas sweater because it had cactuses on it. It was so cute. Hopefully, hopefully by next week when we do our next wine video, I can find it. If not, I'll have to find something else to wear in that video. 
But anyways, guys, I appreciate you for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Oh, and my Santa hat. I'm so sorry. I didn't mention you saw my Santa hat. It's cute. Little gingerbread guy. Anyway, <laughs> that's off topic anyway. But um, thank you so much for watching my lovely video. Hope you liked it. Um, please comment below any questions, suggestions you have for my channel, anything like that. And do hit like. I love likers. If you want to see more videos from me, hit subscribe. If you want to see it pop in your inbox, hit the notification button, which is the bell. And you'll see that pop in. And um, that about wraps up our Wine Tastic Wednesday. Uh, next week will be a Christmas one. I'll be doing a Christmas wine because next week is Christmas. Like, we're only week away, guys. So if you haven't finished your Christmas shopping, break it on that because it's really, really close. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, so next week I'll try and find a Christmas wine for you guys to try out. Um, and yeah, there we go. So. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Oh my gosh, guys, I completely forgot to share with you a cute little Christmas gift idea for the wine lover in your family or friends. So I found these little cute little cat charms. They're wine charmers at Total Wine No More, and they're super awesome and cute and festive. They sit on the side of your wine glass like that, and it's super awesome. I love cats, and I love wine, so this is definitely a go-to for me. And I found these at Total Wine & More last year. And I think they were like $9.99. I don't remember offhand. But anyway, if you have a Total Wine & More store in your state, definitely check them out. They have cute little wine charmers and lots of cool wine-tastic presents and gifts you can give around this time of year. It is amazing. Definitely check them out. Not sponsored by Total Wine & More whatsoever. But hey, Total Wine & More, if you want to sponsor me, I'm all for it though. Um, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching my lovely video. And as always, subscribe, like, and comment.